Okay, so just a standard tuning here, E, A, D, G, B, E. And uh, for the most part, kind of four chords, but two just kind of varying configurations. Um, so basically, we start in this kind of E flat vibe, and we want this E flat with the added nine. Um, basically, we're just going to do a, a six on the A, five D, hit the open G for the octave, just might as well. Makes it a little easier. And then we go six on the B. Okay, nice kind of clean. Maybe a little reverb on there, it's good. And there's also kind of a, a real like fuzzed out, distorted, um, you know, a lot of reverb guitar kind of faintly going along with this. So it kind of has that, uh, that real gnarly kind of lo-fi feel. And with this, we're just, you can just strum right on it, like on beat, quarter note style. like that and we go through you know about eight strums of that and then we want to take that G and make it a seven so now it comes like an E flat major nine okay, we're putting that note instead of the open G so everything stayed the same we just make the G in right here on the seven now okay, just turn that about eight times and then we switch over to like this F vibe here and we want this F minor 9, and we do this 8 here on the A, and then we want the 6 on the D, and then you can just bar the 8s on the G and B here with the uh, ring finger there. If you can't quite do that, you can bring the pinky over to help, I guess. I'm fine just kind of doing that. All right, and we strum on this the same way about 8 times. Then we want to make that 8 on the B a 6, so it becomes F minor 7. So I just kind of switch the, the barring, basically. I make the ring finger just kind of come up and hit the 8 on the G, and then I bar with the pointer here, the index. You can do that. If you don't quite like that, then you can just go from there and you know jump like this I'm not quite I don't I don't quite feel as quick doing that okay I'm not quite as as quick changing to that style so I kind of like to just switch like that it's fine for me okay a little bit of a tricky chord I suppose um, if you don't like that chord if it's just not working for you then you can just kind of you know, skip some notes and just do something down here like the three on the D, five G, four B, and then a one on the E here. Okay, we're kind of missing a note there, but if this is too much for you, then you can just kind of like skip and do that. Or you can just find variations of an F minor nine or F minor seven that you like to play instead and just use that if you have a chord book or you can just search them out. Up to you. Uh, so basically those four chords in sequence like that repeating, um, then we get to uh, more of a, a lead guitar, and you know you can get a little overdrive on this, put some reverb on there. The first bit that happens kind of in that first section, they're just kind of these long sustained notes. Uh, you start on the B with the eight, just hold it, maybe get some vibrato, sounds good. Then we go seven G to eight. And a little condensed now, where we come up to 10, 5, and then just finish up the 6B. Alright, and there's a section where everything kind of gets a little like chilled out a little more, and we get a little clearer of a lead coming over the top. And that's on the B here, we start at 8 to 6. Hold that a moment. Come on up on the high E, we go 11, 10, and then 11B. Hold that for a moment. Come higher now, we go 15, 13 on the E. That holds, and then we finish with E string, 11, 10, 13. And that cycles a couple times there. And after that, it's kind of repeating of the uh, previous sections. You should uh, be all set.